Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com and today we're going to check out a new module from Synthrotech. This is from the MST line from Synthrotech, which is Matson Modular and Synthrotech combining to create awesome sauce. Uh, this is a complex dual envelope. And what that means is it's two envelopes that are normal to each other. The end of cycle of one envelope triggers the start of the cycle of the next. This is very interesting because it can allow for ping pong effects. It can allow you to kind of bounce signals around when you combine it with things like their uh, dual VCAs and uh, the stereo output module. You can get interesting stereo field things going on. Uh, just a lot of fun. Now, this does come as a kit, as a PCB faceplate, or as a completed module. I went ahead and built this one myself, uh, hence the... Uh, black and white knob selection that I've done here and uh, I'll say that the build is not a difficult build but it is a semi long build because there's an awful lot of uh, resistors and diodes inside of this one so if you're uh, impatient or if you uh, just don't have a lot of soldering skill you might want to just pick up the completed module for this one or if you have the patience go ahead and build it and be proud of yourself now this module has some interesting features with the switching on here as well. The attack can be long or short. Um, you know, you can adjust it with the, with the knobs here. And below here we have attack decay or attack sustain release. Okay. We can also switch between a short and long mode for our envelope. And then we have our attenuator for uh, how powerful the envelope is. This can go all the way up to the max of your rail. Now, underneath here we have the invert plus five. Now what's cool about that is we have our regular uh, output here and then we have our inverted output but when we use the plus five, it raises the inverted output into the positive side so that you can use that um, in the positive realm as well. So you can get these cool um, flipped signals so realistically you can be hitting four different envelopes at a time off of this thing along with a trigger from the end of cycle and then if you choose you can also send gates into this as well so you really have a lot of options on this and each one of those switches is per envelope so you can have it running independently I can you know, set each envelope differently and you'll see the trigger LEDs here. These are the end of cycles that are coming out that are being fired off affect each other. So if I raise the um, decay on envelope one, you'll notice that it's slowing down. If I drop it down here, it's speeding up. If I raise it on envelope two, slowing down and then bring it back up. There we go. Now I'm going to just show some examples of patches and how this can be used. Okay, so what we have here is a fairly basic ping pong patch setup where I'm sending uh, two oscillators into uh, a Synthrotech dual VCA. Uh, before they go into the VCA though, I have them filtered. And what I'm doing is the dual envelope here is going to be controlling the VCA. And the VCA, each side of the VCA goes to the Synthrotech MST stereo output and they are each getting their own channel left and right. Now, what we can do with this that's interesting is the invert output is going to be controlling the filters. So while the output of the envelope is going to control the traditional you know, sound, uh, the, the amplitude of each oscillator, the inverted output is actually going to control the filter cutoff. So I have them band passed and uh, let's take a listen. Now you can tell that as each one fires off, the next one triggers and it's allowing, let's take it down to just one oscillator here. So right now we have just one oscillator running and what's going on is the other uh, envelope is triggering it. So what, what happens when we drop this? It speeds up. 
So let's go ahead and bring up the volume of that oscillator. Now, of course, we can adjust our AD ASR settings. And, of course, we can go from short to long envelopes. Now you'll notice that while I'm doing this, I have the upper envelope here is using the invert plus five on the uh, SOB filter from Animodule. And what that's doing is that's allowing me to keep the filter open and then dip down. Filter open, then dip down. Now, of course, I can change that around a bit as well. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom out a bit and I'll show you a little bit more of the patch. Okay, so now you can see a little bit more of the patch here. So we've got the inverted output coming over here into the CV input of the Animodule SOB, and I'm using the bandpass output coming into the Synthrotec dual VCA over here, and I'm using it in linear mode, okay? Now, let's take a listen to the different effects that we can get by using the invert uh, plus five, and then also dropping that out. <laughs> And of course, if I take that plus five off, it drops the filter cutoff down. So very handy to have these different modes built right into the module without needing to send out to an invert or use another module, you know. Otherwise, I'd have to send off into, you know, the uh, Mixman module over here, invert it, and then use the offset on the Mixman to give it that plus five. But, you know, with this module, I can do it all inside of one, which is quite nice. Now let's also take a look at just how snappy these envelopes are. So very musical envelopes.